24. I think we're good. Hey guys, welcome to Delicious Cooking in My Kitchen. Uh, I miss all of you so much. I wish we were all cooking together. But as we're all getting used to this distance learning, I wanted to bring you into my kitchen and teach you an important trick for the holiday season. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a perfect hard boiled egg. Beautiful yellow on the inside, easy to peel shell. All we need to get started is our eggs. We wanna keep our eggs at room temperature. So when it goes into our hard boiling water, nothing is going to go in too cold to too hot. I want to make sure there's some kind of balance going on in there. And I have an ice bath waiting over here for the end of our boil. Uh, just basically a bowl filled with ice and we're going to add water to that. Make sure we have something really cold to shock those boiling eggs. Alright, so I'm going to take my eggs. I'm going to actually use this sort of pasta spoon. So I can place my eggs in very gently and this little hole at the bottom will make sure that none of my eggs crack as they're going down. Release nice and easily. And right after I finish putting in my second egg, I'm going to start my timer. I know that putting in those eggs is going to drop the temperature a little bit. So as I finish, I'm going to set my timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes exactly to a perfect hard boiled egg. Okay. Now why am I showing you how to do a hard boiled egg today? Beitza, something that we're gonna put on our Seder plate. Right? We put it on our Seder plate every year. I think this year that symbol is especially important because the egg represents the continuity of life. Right now we're all trying to figure out how to continue and find normalcy. One of the most important things during this time is that we remember our rituals, our traditions, our holidays. When we sit around our Seder table, we're going to share the story that we've shared every year, and we're going to remember the things that are important, the things that are meaningful. Um, and so we're going to make sure we do the best to put everything that uh, represents our traditions, our past, our ancestors, onto our Seder table onto the Seder plate and I think that egg is one of everybody's favorite parts. Timer's at 12 minutes. We're ready to check our hard boiled eggs. So I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to turn my timer off. We're going to take that off of uh, the heated flame. Remove the cover, make sure that I don't get burnt by that steam. Always want to be careful. And now I'm going to use the same spoon to gently take my eggs out, place them right into the ice bath. And that's going to shock the heat, cool them down really quickly. I want to make sure that um, they stay in there at least a few minutes, cool down, and then we're going to get that shell off. Make sure we have beautiful yellows on the inside. So these eggs have been chilling for about five minutes. I'm going to take them out of the bowl now. Put them onto my surface. Now, I like to knock it on top. Knock it on the bottom, give it a nice little twist in the center, and the shell should come off. A lot more easy and not spider the whole way down. If you're lucky you can get it one or two shots. A beautiful hard boiled egg. Nice shape, smooth. Let's cut it open. beautiful yellow. So whether you are celebrating this year's Seder on a Zoom conference with your family, um, maybe in the next city, maybe in another state, 
Uh, maybe you get to sit around the table with your parents and your siblings. I wish you all Chag Sameach, Happy Passover, and let us remember this symbol of the Beitzah, the egg, on our Seder plate. Let's continue life. Everyone stay healthy, be strong. Hug Sameach, hope to see you all soon.